Coach, first off on the great start so far, big weekend coming up heading to Oklahoma City. Uh, your thoughts on the start so far going 16-5? and five. Just excited where we're at and excited that we're all trying to get a little better every day. And uh, it's really great to see the performances that are being done now, but we know it's really our goal is to be very strong at the end. Yeah. You've talked many times with me about just playing free and using the talents that God has given you. Do you see this from this team so far? I do. It's been really great. In the fall, I even led the Bible study about the book of Revelation, and it led us to everything. You know how the Bible says in the third verse in chapter, you know, in, in the book of Revelation that she who reads and heeds, you know, will basically uh, be blessed. And so for us, it's been a huge blessing because we've been able to talk about how do we know God exists and how we know the Bible is inerrant, infallible, and the inspired word of God. How do we know that we are who he says we are and whom we are? And how do we know that Jesus is our Lord and Savior and the Messiah and who he says he is? So it's been really great because I think it really has put us in a place where we recognize what's most important, and that is to trust the gifts that God has given us. You know, that except Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, everything else will take care of itself. And the game of fast pitch softball is that, you know, it's a game. And it's a game that teaches us a lot about life lessons. And if we're doing our job as a coaching staff, the ultimate uh, goal for us is to make sure that they grow closer to the Lord and trust Him more. Dot, this team's hitting 316 collectively. Offensively, where's the approach right now? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we don't really focus on batting averages as much, right? I mean, and they're learning not to focus on the outcome, but enjoy the process. And you hear that more than just a cliche, because I think each and every one of them are taking their at-bats as hitters, and they're now become students of the game. Yeah. And that is fun. That's cool. How about in the circle? Uh, give us an idea of where Paige is with the pitchers and we won't talk stats with the pitchers now. So uh, where is your pitching staff as you approach this weekend? Well, I'm really encouraged about our pitching staff because there were some ups and downs when you look at the beginning of the season where it was like one would be a front runner and then another one would show up and then they'd have a rough outing, and then the next one and next one. So consistency is what we're looking for. Um, Carly Keeney's been doing really well. And if you look at right now, uh, Emily Kirby has really jumped up and as a lefty, firing the ball with confidence. She has that fire within her belly. Uh, the last performance of Naomi Jones was spectacular. Um, Megan Johnson had three really strong innings the last at bat. Uh, Kasten Belagorska is doing her job and really you know, helping the team and getting everybody ready. And she's working to improve herself. Um, so uh, WAG, WAG is like, man, she's got some swag. Yeah. So love that with her. Her last outing at Long was very impressive. So we're starting to see more strikeouts, and that's a great sign. As you approach this weekend, heading to Stillwater, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, uh, Louisville, you're going to see uh, Arkansas as well. So a huge road trip coming up that starts on Friday against Oklahoma State. You've always talked about wanting to compete with the best teams, which you've done since you've been here. Uh, what's different about this tournament and actually playing one game where the College World Series is? Well, what's really exciting about t this road trip of playing Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, uh, also Arkansas, yeah. and then getting into our first ASUN series with Bellarmine in Louisville, Kentucky. What's exciting about it is where we are in the season because we have a number of games under our belt. A lot of times we'll see these top teams the first two weeks, right? And so what's really fun is we're going to play number one ranked team in the country, Oklahoma, number four ranked team in the country, Oklahoma State. And we're coming in off of momentum from playing Alabama and LSU, Notre Dame, Pitt, all of these, putting it together. So it's going to be a challenge that I believe we're ready for to see where we're at. And it's also, as I've told you before, is we need to play the best to become better and to see who is the best ultimately postseason.